back, 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 back. And today I am here with a makeup tutorial. Like, what? I did my makeup on camera for y'all. Oh, okay. So today I'm just using my products. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys how I beat this face today. Like, and all I'm doing is about to take some pictures. I'm not even going nowhere, but I just wanted to film this tutorial because People always ask me how I do my makeup, what I use, and everything like that. So, I'm going to let y'all know in detail how I beat my face. And y'all get to see it firsthand. Okay, y'all. So, I take a dark brown eyebrow pencil because it just matches my eyebrows the most. My eyebrows are microbladed, so I don't really have to do too much. So, you're just going to see me lightly shading just a little bit in the front because... I like that little ombre look like I don't like it too bold like some some people be having it real bold I don't really like that I like it real real subtle and just real like a smooth transition okay now I'm about to go in with the LA girl pro concealer in the color toffee and I am just going to outline my brows this is how I do it I don't use the angle brush or like no kind of brush like that to like put the concealer on there I just use the tip of that brush and then I blend it out with like a um a big fluffy brush or whatever So on my eyelids, I use the same concealer. Like I'm a makeup girl, but I don't know all the high-end makeup, um, you know, all the high-end makeup supplies and stuff like that. So I just use my LA Girl concealer and I prime my eyes with that. And it works just fine. Then I go in with a um, translucent powder and I just set it just like that. in with my fall days palette that i no longer sell anymore because fall is over but i went in with the um two brown shades and then i'm just gonna literally alternate between those two shades just pretty much doing my transition shade because i'm gonna try to go for like a a light brown to like a dark brown you guys are going to see in the video but pretty much i'm going to show you guys the colors that i use if you have a palette similar or something like that you can do the same thing to achieve this soft glam look so yeah just continue watching the video and you guys will see how the transition actually comes out
So this palette right here is one of my first palettes that I ever came out with, like the start of my business. So this one definitely is not in stock at all. But I'm going in with a regular pink shade. Honestly, guys, that's the look I wanted to go for, but it didn't turn out how I wanted to do, how I wanted it to. So I said, you know what? Let me add some shimmer to it. So I just went in with that same palette, and I went between like a pinkish plush shimmer and a gold shimmer. You guys will see exactly what i did just in case you got a palette similar or with similar shades so yeah Okay, y'all, so I know I should have used a better brush, but like I said, I'm into makeup, but like I'm not like all makeup, so I just use whatever I have. But I would prefer to use like a flat brush or something like that to apply the shimmer so it looks a little bit more pigmented. I definitely felt like this was not pigmented enough, but it was still cute and it still came out cute. But yeah, use something flat. I tried to use my finger, but... It still wasn't as pigmented you know it wasn't coming off how i really wanted it but yeah and i also spray it with some setting spray before i apply it now i'm just gonna go in with some eyeliner y'all already know i love my wings i gotta have my wings regardless if i have um eyeshadow on or not i have to have my eyeliner on because it just gives me that extra oomph to my eyes i don't know what it is but it just makes me feel even more glorified Alright y'all, now I'm about to prime my face with some NK primer. No, or was that magic? I forgot. I got it from the beauty supply store. But I'm about to go in with this 335 Classic Tan Foundation in the Maybelline Fit Me. And I'm about to go ahead and put that on all over my face. Okay. And then you guys are going to see me slap on my favorite concealer. Seriously, the LA, go, the LA Pro Concealer. Okay.
so y'all that um that concealer was like a sample i don't know the name of it um but i just use it to highlight even more you can go in with a concealer that's just lighter like way lighter than you and just highlight like that and in order for it to blend you guys are gonna see i like to use a baking powder that's um that's like my skin tone so it kind of like it makes it like mesh together so it's not like too bright under my eye that's not cute because that's how you get that flashback when it's just too light so y'all gonna see at the end of this video how it just all tie together like some people probably like it's really light but trust me y'all it was not that light All right, y'all, so I'm about to go in with this MAC powder, and I am going to just wipe off all that translucent powder because who is about to have flashback? No, baby, we're not doing that. So I'm about to wipe all of that off, okay? And that, just using my facial powder, that's um my skin tone, it just helps blend it all out. So now, after this, you guys are going to see me go in with the Anastasia. Um, it's the Contour Palette, and I like to use that warm shade. I don't know why, but I just feel like that warm shade in the middle just looks so good on my skin tone. And it just makes my contour look so freaking bomb. So, I don't know if they still sell it, y'all. I've had this for years, like, since, like, middle school. And I'm way out of, not middle school, high school. And I'm way out of school. Like, I graduated 2017, so... I had it even before then, but this palette is still good and it still works good. So guys, this is my lip gloss in the shade Juicy and it's not available yet, but it will be. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and post them on the site on Monday. So yeah, check back on Monday and it should be on the site. But you guys see that shine and how glossy it is? Don't play with me, period. Pooh. I'm about to go on my Fall and Lights palette. This is discontinued as well because fall is not here <laughs> and it's sold out. But I'm about to go in with this shade. You guys are going to see me point to it. And y'all, when I say it's so pigmented, shimmery, and beautiful, like it just blends so good. I promise y'all, I'm about to remake so much new stuff and I'll have a lot of new stuff on the site for you to purchase. Um, it's going to be the same color as just a new, um, you know, cover art and everything like that. So it's going to be the same quality same everything so be on the lookout for that Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this short tutorial. Well, it's not real short, but it's short enough. <laughs> Thanks so much. I hope you guys shop my products and you guys see how pigmented my eyeshadow palette, my highlight palette, my lip gloss, everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. And I can't wait to see you in the next one.